Hello traders, FA Spipcoletti here. Today is Tuesday, March 21st, and I'm going to be analyzing the pound yen, starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. So on the monthly, I still think we're in a big wave C. I still think that this will end up continuing the uptrend, most likely eventually looking something like that to finish off this wave C. I think it's going to make its way all the way up to the 100% Fibonacci extension of wave A, projected off the bottom of this A, B, C of B. So let's head down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, I do think that this first ABC right here will hold. I do think that is the end of a crescent and that this move down right here was just another crescent and that it will continue the uptrend, making them higher highs, higher lows to make that pattern like I was sewing on the monthly time frame. So let's keep going down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, you can see, well, first of all, that this is the end of a crescent, I believe. Then we made three waves down right here pretty much perfectly to the 78.6 level. Nice and pulse to move up. I think that's the end of another correction and I do believe that it will continue the uptrend. Making higher highs, higher lows, all part of that big wave C like I was showing on the monthly and even the weekly time frame. So let's take it down even further to the four hour time frame. Four hour time frame, I think this first sets it up trend right here is a wave A. I think that there's an A, B, C, a B, probably right there for the A, B, C, a B. And then this is a downtrend for the C. Price bounced off that 78% almost perfectly, probably a 1, 2, and now we're in a wave 3. The fact that it did break structure is a good sign that that really is the end of a wave C and that this really is going to just keep on trending up, making higher highs, higher lows, telling me that I'm definitely still looking for long entries on the sort of time frames. So let's head down to the one hour time frame. On the one hour time frame, you can start to see this uh, crescent right here. So let's head down a little bit further. There we go. So on the one hour time frame, I do believe this is the end of a crescent. This first move up probably is a wave one that did break structure. Then we have an ABC down, which is probably a wave two. And I bet we're in a wave three right now. And I bet it's just going to keep making higher highs, higher lows, telling me that I'm definitely looking for any pullback entries. I'm looking for pullbacks, ABC crescents, to go long for the continuation of this big uptrend, which I think is all part of that big wave C that I was showing on the monthly and on the weekly time frame. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.